morning guys and girls and welcome back to my channel and another vloggy vlog vlog i've literally just received an exciting box from the postman but unfortunately i don't quite have time to unbox it just yet because i have to take dear little oc to the vets for her post-op checkup it's 10 days now since she was spayed oh there she is it's like you timed that perfectly oc Right, yeah, 10 days since she was spayed and she's just got to have one final checkup to make sure everything is tickety-boo. So I'm going to pop her in the carrier while well, I'm going to feed the animals first. It's about nine o'clock. I'm a little bit later up than normal. Um, had a lovely lion. Feed the animals. I'm not going to feed her because I'm going to take her straight to the vet. So she's not going to like me very much this morning. But feed the ponios. Actually probably going to bring them in because it's El Escorchio. And this weekend, we are doing a bit of field maintenance, which is going to be nice in this heat. Whew, we've got, yeah, fencing to fix. Old, horrible docks, which you can see in the background there, which we're going to get the tractor on and cut down. Where are you, little man? I can hear you. Thankfully. Oh, he has. Oh, dear. I was just about to say, because I heard him cry, he hasn't managed to get out yet, because although we shut him in overnight... If they get over the partition, they can get out through the other two stables. But he was outside, so he clearly has managed to do it. Are you all grown up now? Are you all grown up now? You're definitely growing, aren't you? He's got a lovely purr on him. Haven't you? Yes, you have. Right, I'm going to catch your mummy. I'm not going to feed the rest of you because that would be mean of me. She is doing very well. She's lovely, aren't you? Put you on there. Oh, who are you purring to? Tina, this is a horsey channel, not a biscuit channel. Anyway, the box that I'm unboxing later is a horsey thing. But for now, let's sort these animals out. <laughs> the ponies out. Bring them in out of the sun because it has got you. And get back to you guys in a bit. Carry on with the vlog. It's Saturday. Did I say that? Saturday the 14th, 15th. I haven't got a clue. Saturday anyway. Oh, and also I got this off Marketplace in the week and Reggie loves it. He's had great fun playing with that. In fact, I'm going to bring it outside. Hanging baskets need watering. Lots needs doing. Rob's going to golf. I was kind of thinking he was going to help me with the field stuff today, but I believe that's tomorrow. So at least that means today I can get on with filming that unboxing of my first ever subscription box. But we'll come back to that shortly because I really do need to get going and I do not want to be late. I know you want Brecky, but you can't because I need to steal mum. Yeah, that's right. You just play with that little man. Good boy. Lights out, hearts beating faster in a minute. I'm high on slow dancing with you. One, two, three, keep it going, last forever. All blacked out, then flying with you. I don't care that my mind's gone insane and my heart will burst into flames. No, I don't care about the heartache and pain, just don't. Yummy. <laughs> nice and sloppy, Brecky. 
I know it's for their best interest, but I always feel so mean doing this. But at least I haven't got to leave her there this time. Good girly, and you get to ride shotgun with me. Good girl. Good girly. Oh, we're going to have to get all the windows open there because it's hot, hot, hot. Are you being a bit vocal in there? A bit vocal? You're with me, you're okay. You're okay. Good girl. Good girl. Guys, look what I've come home to. You know, I said he was off to golf shortly. As I drove in. Dedication, Robbo. That wasn't much better either. Right, she's home, sweet home. Want to come out? Give me then. She's like, what the heck is going on over there? Golfing. And he keeps missing. Good girly. Do you want your breakfast now? Anyway, yeah, all good. And I got wormer stuff. For all three of them. You got a couple in, look. I'm not trying to get in I... trying to land it before it. Oh, okay. Why well, are some in it then? Oh, well, there's loads landed before it. That's good. Make sure you pick them all up, though, because Banksy comes in here sometimes. Yay, that's good. Why is there a hole in it if you're not trying to get them in it? It's like a target. Target. Can I have a go? Can I have a go? Yes, I'm not very good. I need to go and feed the cat. Cats. Right, hands like that, bends the knees, bit like skiing. Go hands forward. Yeah. Right, and then back to there. And, and then whack. The and push away through the ball. Okay. Oh, she wants her breath here. She's squeaking. Like this? Oh, my hand's sore from the stable door. Like this? Yeah. Yeah? Bend your knees. Legs, leg close, feet, feet closer together. Feet closer together. Don't you have to do something? Just tell me. Oh, you can't tell you that's showing. Just you a link in your little finger or something, don't you? I'll hold that minute for you. Not copy me. All right, like that. Yeah. Okay, like that. Yeah, yeah. Like that, around there. Or you can do it like that, or yeah. like that, if you yeah. want. Yeah. Just put the other hand, like that. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got that. Ready? Is <laughs> this back to here? Yeah. yeah. One. What do you do, like, three, two, one? Whatever. Oh, oh my god! I hope you caught that on camera because you're looking over the top of the camera. What are the chances of that? Straight in like a rocket. Did you know Holly's taking up golf? I might have to go and join her. It wouldn't have landed on the green. It would have, Guys, shot, the other, it would have shot across the other side. You hit it too hard. Gone are, the days, gone are the days of it being a horse channel to a cat channel. It's now going to be becoming a golf channel. Look at OC. Food! I want my food. Right. So keep your arms sort of rigid. I didn't. I, yeah, third time napping. Don't have floppy wrists. I think the first Don't one have was floppy good. wrists. Hold the club down the further, grip a little bit further for you. That's it. No. How did I manage you, it? You've got to go back for you. you know, just. <laughs> Watch. Hey, but you're never going to get it as good as my first one, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought you had to bend your knees. Yes, I haven't got Sorry if you switched. Like that, that's what you're trying to do. Oh, okay, but you're not aiming at anything, yeah? No, just. <laughs> just get that was just an example of how to. How to hit it. Like that. All right. Yeah, well, I, won't, I won't share with that. Mine hit the net. I need my first one, right? Right, I'm feeding the puddy cats. You can leave in a minute. Oh, see, we gone. Okay, guys, so it is a couple of hours later. Let's get on with this unboxing. The box that you saw earlier was admittedly slightly bigger. However, that was because, actually, Susie, the lovely owner of Gallop and Glory, very kindly put in an additional little item 
for me alongside July's subscription box. So I'll start by telling you a little bit about Gallop and Glory, the company. Those of you that follow or subscribe to Meg, Elphick Event Pony's channel, will know that Megan is very fortunate enough to be sponsored by Gallop and Glory. So she gets these lovely subscription boxes every single month. I was going to say that this is my first ever one. However, I will admit my brain slightly forgot that we were very kindly sent one each the ve squad girls me loose meg and m were sent one each at christmas but that wasn't as part of promotional work technically it was just as a lovely treat from susie to say thank you for keeping her entertained throughout lockdown and that was really really kind of her and lots of the items in the box i absolutely adored and still use today especially the lovely makeup what do you call it you know that you put like going away stay away bag this i was modeled with my words so i had to run and get it i actually use it as a makeup bag but you could also use it as like a wash bag um i had it at epsom last week and it fell out in lucy's boot and lucy was like oh that's mine when i went to pick it up i was like no 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 lucy it's mine so it shows how much we both love it because we both took them away with us last week mine is currently full of oh i could turn into a fashion vlogger i could show you what's in my makeup bag look but i think uh, <laughs> susie would rather i moved on to the subscription box however this stuff is amazing guys if you need uh-oh not coming out that's because i nearly used it oh. a nice lip tint that also moisturizes and conditions your lips i feel like i'm talking about hoof oil now carmex moisture plus probably got it all around my mouth now but mm, tastes minty and looks nice too anyway yeah that was in our christmas box but today we are talking or i am talking to you about the monthly subscription package that gallop and glory do as i said if you follow meg you probably know a lot about it already because she is sponsored by them however susie kindly sent me july's box in the post and it arrived today so obviously i'm going to unbox it and show you guys i have absolutely no idea what is in here what i do know is that you too could get a surprise box each month for £45. And the goodies inside are worth up to a value of, or possibly sometimes even slightly over, £80. So you're getting items in there for almost half price what they are worth if you were to buy the items individually. Obviously, when you subscribe, you don't know what's coming. It's a complete surprise what is in the box. However, if there is ever anything in the box that you think, oh, I wouldn't ever use that, I have heard, Susie tells me, and I read it on their website too, because I've done my research this time, that you can send it back, providing it's unused. And then in your next box, if you are subscribed and you get them delivered monthly, then you would get a replacement item for the same value so don't ever think oh i might not like every item and then it wouldn't be worth the money you can simply switch out a product i feel like i'm like getting impatient and trying to get straight into it but yeah you can switch out a product if there was something of like a what you think might be a higher value and think you're not getting your money's worth you can send it back and they will exchange it for another nice surprise for you i'm going to get started and get in but before i do Apart from that side that I've already opened, I'd just like to show you how beautifully presented it is in their trademark black and fuchsia. We'll admit there's another story behind these nails. Isn't there, Susie? I'm sure you're going to watch this. Um, and yeah, I didn't quite get the colour right, but I recently did. I was a hand model for Gallop and Glory, not for this box, but for the June box. And yeah, I tried to match my nail varnish, but as you can see, they're a few weeks old now. I failed. It's not quite matchy matchy. I do feel a little bit like I let you down there, Susan. I do apologize, but I know the footage came out good. Shout out to Holly too. I'm just getting impatient and going for it. Um, so yeah, watch this space. You might spot my hands somewhere soon, guys. See if you recognize them. There we go. You'll be able to tell from my rings. <laughs> anyway, back to what we're meant to be talking about. As I said, you can subscribe and you can get these boxes land on your door like mine has this morning land on your door land on your doorstep 
or in your post box, although I don't think that would fit in a post box. Thankfully I was in and my postman passed it straight to me, um, but I'm sure you can arrange for them to be left somewhere if you aren't in each month. But you don't have to subscribe, you can buy them as one-off boxes. However, we do recommend, or Susie does recommend, getting, oh look, I'm so excited for this bit, getting in there quick because they do sell out pretty quickly. Who's ready? I feel like I need to check this is still recording. Oh guys, little disclaimer, I just stood up, didn't I? Or I stood up when I went to get this. And when I had these shorts on that I'd been messing about in the yard in, I thought, oh, it's fine, I'll be sat down, nobody will see them. My recent Matalan bargain. I nearly said Primark, it wasn't even Primark, it was Matalan. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd be sat down permanently and you wouldn't see my delightful, what probably look like pyjama shorts, but they're not. Um, I thought they'd be hidden behind the table, but when I got up to get this and sit back down again, I showed them off my six pound bargains from Matalan. Right, is this gonna be satisfying? I think it is. Three, two, one. I do hope my phone picked up on that sound. That was good. That couldn't have gone any better if I tried, although I could have had nicer, nicer nails. Okay, so I have done this bit before because like I said, I have just been a hand model for an unboxing video. Everything is so perfectly presented. They would make lovely gifts. Talking of gifts, she does also do gift boxes. So make sure you check out the website. These, however, are the monthly subscription boxes, as I keep saying. So let's get on in and not make this video an hour long, Tina. Tissue paper. I can't do that without ripping it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And as I said, I have zero idea what is inside this one. But I mean, oh, do you know what I have noticed straight away is that this box and that label is the same as that, which was in my December box. Same brand, Katie Cardew. So I guess this may well be the first parcel package that I open. Although I do feel like I want to have a nosy at the other bit, bits first. This month's chocolate is a whole new level of awesomeness. Does that mean we get chocolate in here? Ho, 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 it does. It does indeed. I'm glad I didn't leave this out in the sun like I nearly did because I initially put it on the hot tub when it was delivered and then moved it into the summer house for the day until doing this now. Right, we might come back to that because we're going straight into this. So I assume that means that every single box has a something delicious in it for it to say this month's chocolate is a whole new level of awesome. Focus on what, oh, I like that too. That's a lovely, Little reminder, focus on what is important to you. Our horses. Back to popping candy though. Popping candy chocolate. Oh, I so nearly picked up one of those bars of the dairy milk one a couple of nights ago as well in co-op. The one that's got the magic creations with the magic creations, magic something or other. You know, the one that's got jelly and popping candy in. Ah, so I'm excited to try this. Milk chocolate popping candy, the chocolatier. This looks like proper posh chocolate. Experience the everessence of popping candy with a delicious milk chocolate from Java rich, from Java, rich in notes of caramel and hazelnut. Probably meant to save this till I've done the unboxing, but I can't resist temptation, so I'm tucking straight in. Got to have a little nibble. Oh, the smell. <laughs> <laughs> that's good I could easily I'm actually not that much of a sweet tooth I'm more of a savoury crisperholic however I'm sweating <laughs> it's hot here um, when I do have chocolate I do like it to be something extremely oh <laughs> oh that literally nearly popped out my mouth Oh, I used to love that stuff that you could tip on your tongue and it would pop and fizzle everywhere. Mmm, that is good. Very, very yummy. Right, let's get on to the actual contents because I'm sure chocolate isn't the best part of this box, although that is tasty. Ah, stop doing that to me. Just sit nicely and look neat and tidy. 
Oh, uh, we also had nice cards at Christmas too, I remember now, and I've used them already. So that is so handy to keep as a spare if you ever forget somebody's birthday or need to write a quick thank you card or something like that. Forever horsing around, perfect for your horsey friends. A little blank card, always handy to keep in the drawer. Oh, I'm jumping the gun here. Right, let's get into this. Oh, and it matches. Again, forever horsing around, a lovely mug. Oh, that's so nice. I love the gold detailing too. And I love a mug. You might be with me here, guys. Hopefully you are. That's thin. I hate ones that are too chunky. It's a bit like a wine glass as well. It has to be, what do you call that? The rim. I'm not sure. Yeah, it is the rim, isn't it? Has to be nice and thin, especially on a wine glass, but also on a mug. Um, it just tastes different when it's thinner, not chunky. Oh, I spotted something that looks like it's going to be very handy and I need it today. And there's so many of them. Mosquito Company, DEET Free, last 250 hours, insect repellent bracelet. And there's one, two, three, four, five. I literally have been bitten by horseflies today. So I'm hoping. Oh, and my colours. Oh, do you know what that just reminded me of? I wonder if I can use it for that. Those hair bands that you get. That are... Maybe I can have two. Actually, are they going to only last for a certain amount of time? Should I have it on my wrist, not my hair? Simply wear around your wrist, ankle, or even use as a hair tie. It's almost like I knew it. Please place back in the TMC resealable bag to preserve the lifespan of each bracelet. Bracelets protect for up to 250 hours. Once seal is broken, shelf life for three years. And we've got one, two, three, four, five. Well, one, two, three, four. Let's put them in there. I thought I was being innovative by putting it there but we'll put it on my wrist for a minute and hopefully deter anything that might want to nibble me because youch I was nibbled earlier and it's very itchy so I might actually wear all four one on each wrist one on each ankle all four or five <gasps> one on each wrist one on each ankle and one in my hair all five at once perfect although let's just see if one is efficient enough for the meantime oh there's something in here for banksy and i'm gonna get told off when i say it because it's a competitor's brand but he absolutely loves these he goes crazy for them my old oh my old owner my old horse's new owner lisa whenever she used to come up and visit banks or she cared for him a little bit whenever i went on holidays or things like that a few years back she would always bring him these and he would go nuts for them and buddy is very spoiled because he gets them frequently um and i will admit i'm a bit of a tight bum and don't very often buy actually i don't even know anywhere nearby that stocks them um i know i could order them online but i don't but he does absolutely love these so we will take one of those out to him shortly that's a big bag as well approximately 15 stud muffins in that bag if your ponies have not tried these guys i can highly recommend them because they will do anything pretty much for them for you for them for you they love them basically and they say on the packaging made with love they contain a host of beneficial ingredients including linseed fen fenugreek fenugreek as well as other whole grains and i'm pretty sure they're quite pricey so a bag of 15 is very beneficial to get inside this box i think i've done that up too tight oh i should have not stretched it <laughs> oh something for robbie <laughs> it's a tea towel who does the dishes in our house robbie oh that's not i tell you what that would make a nice gift as well actually it matches the mug and the card forever horsing around i might have to do dishes now i don't know if i like you for this one Suze. it's smart though very smart i like those riding boots they look a bit like my mountain horse sovereigns and a rosette that says good effort if only we could get them every time we went out to a horse show very rare we come home with rosettes let alone those ones red frillies there's something else in here and it's for me and Banksy and again I think she might have personalised this to suit me because it's a Tina colour 
I don't know. I'm intrigued to know whether the whole of July's boxes were like this or whether they were mix and matched to suit who they may be arriving with. Um, but a very smart, me love a bit of gold um, brassware, silver. You can't call silverware gold, can you? Metalware. Me love a bit of gold metalware as opposed to silver. Um, and a lovely navy lead rope, which is going to look super smart on Banksy's navy and black with the contrasting tan KM Elite head collar, which I currently have a burgundy old faded lead rope on. So this is going to look super smart on that. And I note it's also got a good end on it to stop it fraying. Hands up or tell me, comment below, who else always does this? Because I always do. Sorry if I'm ruining it already. But who else always does that to the end of their lead ropes? I do. Just in case they slip through your hands and then you end up with it stopping at the end, you've got that extra bit of, mm. I don't know if you should or shouldn't, but I always do that to lead ropes. Fun fact, interested to know if anybody else does it too. Houston, we have a problem. The dishwasher has come to lawn mow. I was just saying there was something for you in the subscription box, babe present from me to you actually from Susie at Gallop and Glory to you it's a tea towel oh well done thank you <laughs> you got my virtual Windsor hat on oh, I'm being kicked out of my own space guys I'm here happily doing my unboxing video and he turns up with the lawnmower I thought you were out tractoring in the field finish tractoring finish tractoring Teeny's got to get out the way so I think it's a good excuse to grab these and go and show Banksy doing some taste testing pop my lead rope on my new head collar and Robbie you can keep the tea towel for you you can also make me a nice cup of tea in a minute in my lovely new mug look a nice mug lovely I was saying how much I like a thin mug not a oh, chunky mug careful thing. with it because it is really nice I'm like, do drop it it's nice it's isn't it and these look smell oh citrus yeah like Branch citronella the back of the head, like no, no. Oh, should have had a crash helmet on didn't do much damage did it <laughs> right let's take these out and banksy can do some taste testing um and i will tell you a little bit well, actually i think i've covered most of the avenues avenues most of the options for purchasing you do need to if you subscribe you do need to he could have waited i was talking Bless his heart, he works so hard. Hi, Puss Puss. So yes, you can buy them as a one-off box for £45, which includes the postage. And you also can, thanks, look, what's in there? Uh-oh, okay, it's not in there, it's on the floor now. Um, and you can also subscribe by a secure payment system on their website, which would then take the money on the first of each month. And then you would get your um, box delivered around about now i think it's around the 15th they get dispatched he knows what's in here but you don't have to as i said you don't have to subscribe <laughs> you like them don't you don't drop them inside again do you want one do you want one uh no you're not meant to eat the wristband would you like one yes you do not have to and you can pause cancel reinstate at any time it's a really clever system that Susie has got set up for the subscription boxes meaning that you don't have to have one look at him you don't have to have one every single month but if you could guarantee there were stud muffins in it every single month then I'm sure your horse would um love it if you did right I need two hands to open them a sec what do you want is it this that you want do you like them <laughs> I told you he goes mad for them is it? Oh, I'm a bit hard. Do I get a kit? Can you remember how to smile? I haven't done it for ages, so probably not. Can you smile? Go on, smile. Smile. Oh, you got bird poo on your door that needs cleaning up. Can you smile? We haven't done it for ages. Smile. Go on, see if you can remember. Smile. Smile. Go on. Yay! That was half of one. You can have it because we haven't done that for ages. Sorry, guys, I realised I just shouted right into the microphone. Good boy. Oh, Susie, he is delighted that you chose to send him July's box, not June's, because it had stud muffins in it. <laughs> They're yummy. As you can see, guys, they go absolutely nuts for them. I think, oh, hello, pussycats. 
Oh, I think Dinks might have spilled his water because there's water all over the floor. And I think you, little man, might have to have half a one. You want one? You want to do some taste testing? Unfortunately, it's an equestrian subscription box purse. It doesn't include cat treats. If ever anybody would like some top tips as to what treats your kitty kitties may like, it is indeed these dreamies. They go crazy for them. Don't you? Oh, hi, y'all. Hi, at you. I did not expect to see you snoozing there. Little baby. Right, back to Dinks because he's, uh, <laughs> he's being teased by it right below his nose. You only get half though because you're a little porky. Oh, good boy. Is that nice? Is that nice? Yummy scrummy, say. Eh? Very yummy. You enjoying that? What? 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 You think you get the other half? Yeah. Yeah, you love them, don't you? You love them. Go on then, because I love you. Mwah. Da -da -da -da! And also the lead rope. <laughs> on the head collar, which looks super smart, although the head collar needs a clean. Right, Ponyo, we're going to put you out. We're going to put you out. Has it cooled down enough? It's like, let me do more smiling for more stud muffins, Mum. Me like them. Me likey. Oh, they make your breath smell nice. If the subscription boxes are something that would be of interest to you guys, do make sure you head over and check out the Gallop and Glory website. Come on, Dinks! I've got to lead the ponies out across this field now because Rob's just been sorting out all the weeds and stuff in this one, so I've got to keep them out of it for a few days. So I'm leading them out to the big field so they can go out there. Better bring some water out because I don't have automatic water out here. Um, but also, Susie is very kindly, also, 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 she's spoiling you lot and not just me in that... Oh, I thought I'd lost my battery then. Whoa! <laughs> that was a prime example of why you put a knot on the end of the lead rope. Um, <laughs> this field's being done next as well, by the way. This needs doing. I've just spotted what's behind me. Not dinks. Some rag work. I'm actually going to go and get the tool and get that out right now because that has sprung up from nowhere. Um, what was I saying? She spoiled me, she spoiled you. There's going to be a giveaway going live on Instagram. Yeah, going live on Instagram in the next couple of days. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And as I said, do check out their website too. If a subscription box is something that you may well be interested in, there's lovely things. I've seen them on Meg's stories and Instagram over the past few months. And I always think like, oh, that's so exciting. I'd love to receive that each month and just not know what it's, what's in it. It's a bit like having a birthday every month, isn't it? You just get to open something and you don't know what's in it super exciting anyway as i said head over and enter the giveaway as well and be sure to check out her website i will put a link in the description below i'm gonna love you and leave you i would also love for you guys to give me any ideas of any upcoming vlogs no 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 don't go that way please don't go that way because i've got to shut that gate go that way thank you no 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 oh, no oh no oh no 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 oh no I think I need both hands. I think I need to get my pony back out here. He's wondering why he's not allowed in that field. He says, but it's my toilet over there, Mum. Coming back. Oh, jolly good. Yoo-hoo! Jeepers, right, shutting the gate before they get back past me. Um, yeah, any ideas on any future vlogs? Whilst I'm not competing, it's a little bit meh. I know. As much as I love showing you guys products and doing ads, I don't want it to be everything because... I haven't got any competition vlogs um, to sort of dilute it, if that makes sense. You guys know I try my very best to be, or try my very, very best. I always am as open and honest and transparent as I can be with you all. Um, but yeah, whilst I'm not competing or getting out and about, it's a bit like, what do I show? I mean, how many times can I do a tack up and ride of me? Or show you me mucking out Banksy's stable? So if you've got any suggestions, do let me know in the comments below. Make sure you head over to Gallop and Glory's website and support them 
If a subscription box is something that takes your fancy, I can highly recommend it. There's gorgeous products in each box, as I have seen over the last few months on Meg's story. So I was super excited when Susie offered to send me another one to open following on from doing the unboxing video of Dunes. Over and out, I'm blabbing. This is probably longer than I anticipated it being, but you know, Hopefully I've made some of you smile with my happy smiley face and I hope that you've enjoyed doing the unboxing with me and seeing my gorgeous ponios. I'm off to get my ragwort, 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 ragwort. Anyway, the tool that digs out the roots and I'm going to try and get that out a minute. Might have to persuade my husband to come out and help me. I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you for your support as always. Take care. And as Maggie would say, seeing as this has been a Gallop and Glory sponsor video, live, laugh, love you. And then we'll add it with a little Lucy. Bye. Because Tina doesn't really have her own sign off. Does she? Probably a triple word, Tina. Bye, bye, bye. See you all very, 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 very soon. Just keep on doing